First of all, Finn, you had a uh, a rod which you deciphered. Yes. <laughs> so, could you give me a one d twenty, please? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, rolled a oh, nine. Oh, you rolled a nine. Okay. So, actually, roll one more for me. This, this is a d ten. Oh no! <laughs> I keep getting really bad news. Okay. This rod contains a spell which you've heard of, which is called Fog Cloud. Mm. You understand it has three charges. Three charges of cloud yeah. kill? No, fog, oh. fog cloud. Fog cloud. Okay. Diggy bugger. So yeah, if you want to look that up. Wait, so it only lasts for three times? You've only got three, yeah. It's a first level three spell. Times. You can use it three times. Yeah, you can use it three times. What happens after you use it three times? Will it disappear? Essentially, it loses its magical properties. A stick. Might be able to get it recharged at some point, but, you know, who knows? Could be handy. All right, Rob. Long. Yeah. Let's talk briefly about your vision. Oh, hello. So after falling down the hole meeting the spirits, reclaiming your body. Very tired after the night's events, you went to bed. And there you soon went into a lucid dream where you were chasing. You weren't entirely sure what you were chasing, but but there you were. The surroundings reminded you of where you've been a few nights before. A desert landscape, very barren. And soon you're overcoming an orc shouting at it, trying to understand. It seems helpless, useless. And so you cleave it, cleave its skull and carry on. And in the distance, you can see what you were looking for. (coughs) But it's being sucked into the ground. It's anger looping. (gasps) Cat spooks! As it's being pulled in, you try and reach out to grasp his hands, but an orc steps in your way, laughing at you, and bars you from helping. You try to get through, but again he holds you back. Stronger, perhaps, than yourself. Soon your chieftain is swallowed by the ground, and this unmistakable orc laughs. And then the laughter dissipates the vision as it gets shaky. And before you know it, you're looking up at the ceiling of your room. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. Yes. Well, I'll, I'll take it in and, uh, yeah. It's just a dream. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> but I do point. suffer from awful visions of coming disaster and will do anything to stop it, apparently. They're my bonds. Yes, yes. So this Ooh. this vision rings true to you. Okay. Anything from Dan? Has anyone seen? He's just responded to some to a Facebook message, so I think he might be near a computer. Let's go back to the present, then. The last things you're aware of is that you approach... The gates, the wooden outside of Midness, the town. And to see a line of guards, one on horseback. And your employer stepped off the front cart, walked up to them and said, These are the people I told you about. <laughs> That's where we left the last time. And um, you can see that the man on horseback nods. And with a motion, a wave of his left hand, he uh, waves the other guards forward. Um, Can you describe what's around us in terms of, uh, I don't know, horses, people, how many guards? I can do that, yes. In fact, hold on. Why didn't he kill the last employer? (laughs) Well, now that seems to be a very good question in retrospect. (laughs) Yes. 
Darn it, if I wasn't too busy looking at nature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just moving your characters a moment. Would anyone have a glass of whiskey? <laughs> sure, are you going to run one over? <laughs> I'll slide it across the pond. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, I suppose this doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. I'll nearly finish the whiskey. <laughs> Place yourselves where you think you were in the cars. That's where I thought I was. And you got a couple of peasants in there with us, right? That's right, yeah. You got three peasants with you. I'm going to ask them, will you vouch for us? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. All right, uh, we might need that. <laughs> the horseman in the front says, Put down your weapons. Come quietly. I'll just very quickly say to the other people in the group, um, what do you think? Should we go quietly? Where are we going? We'd... Well, I think they're going to take us away for questioning about the death of our other employer. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one you didn't help us kill because you were sleeping. I mean, in, in character, yeah, but in character, I am completely shocked and taken aback by it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry. We're guilty. But I don't think we can take on all these guards. What do you think, Law? Well, I certainly don't want to give them my weapons. Oh, they're coming there towards us. The... Not including the guy on horseback. Yeah, not including anybody that might still be in the town. Yeah, that as well. If only we had a sudden bank of fog to mask our escape. We. Oh. Never mind. Well, I could disguise myself as a different person, and then they wouldn't know my criminal record. I think the fog is better. (laughs) Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to disguise myself. We can all see you get changed. Hang on. No, he didn't have that spell prepared. Oh. Okay. <laughs> just keeping you honest. Shouldn't we Who's just the guy see... with the eye patch? The guy oh. with the eye patch is the uh, the dock worker who came with you. Oh, very good. Can we not just take control of the cart and ride off? Well, it's I'm going to jump to off the cart. I'll say to the peasants, help us get out if they put us in jail. And I'm putting, I'm jumping off the cart and putting my weapon down. Okay, that's fine. Uh, move yourself to where you stand. Okay, you see Noma do this and put his weapon down. Really? I'll say, what, what's what's going on? What, what have you done to our other employer? You see a confused expression for a moment, but that quickly changes again as the horseman says, you're wanted for the murder of Lanier. It was taken by spirits in the Well of Souls. Do you say this we out loud? Long. Yes, we didn't kill him. You hear the captain go, <laughs> I told you they were an interesting bunch. It's true. He fell down the well of souls and is taken by the spirits. Uh, the horseman uh, says, all come quietly and you will be judged. There's only 11 of them. We can take them. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we just like use the fog cloud and then run away? Yes, that's what I suggested. Good idea. <laughs> Dan is here. Um, I'm can you add him to the call? Yes, I can. I'll just try and do that now. Uh, people to call. Do we need to go into town or not? I expect we do. It's kind of the only thing on the map between us and the rest of the wilderness. Is it a big town, is it? Um, some of you are local to this area, so yes, you know it to be... As big as the town you came from by the coast. So this is pretty much all, all of the militia they have? Um, it's relatively small. They have a militia inside probably about... Probably three times the number you can see there. Hey everyone, I'm here. Hey Dan. Hi Dan. Hello. 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 Hi Dan. Hello. Hi Dan. Hello. It's all right, we haven't got you or our, ourselves killed yet. <laughs> well... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, K 
carry on. Uh, okay. I, I'm up to date. No worries, Dan. Uh, we'll give you a second to get settled in. Essentially, your character has had raging headaches for the last day and a bit. Yeah, you're you're... telling me. <laughs> You'll understand a bit more why in a, in a moment. Oh, okay. I see. Fine. It's not it's an excuse why I wasn't here. Okay. <laughs> um, in Dungeons and Dragons, when are you ever going to come out of a court non-guilty? So I say we should just use the fog cloud and run for it. Sure going to make you look guilty. Well, if we go into the church, or the court, I mean, or whatever they will judge us in, then we're probably not going to make it out, because we did kill him. <laughs> and he's saying this out of character and not loudly Speak in front yourself. of all the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the peasants aren't alarmed then. Okay. <laughs> But no, but do we actually need to go to this town, or, or can we just sort of bypass it? I mean, where, where, where are we actually going to? <laughs> Your previous employment was to take the cargo to this town. Well, it's here. Now we can go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to say, let's play dumb. Dumber than you are, Long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to say out loud that Long had too much to drink this morning. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> I'm coming quietly, and I'll walk up to the guards and give myself up. Okay. I will too. Yeah, me too, because I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not going to confront the guards by myself. Okay, <laughs> I'll give myself up too, I guess. Okay. Well, Maybe I'll try and hide a knife in my person as I do, John. Hide a knife in your person? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you can probably do that. Really? Okay, then everyone who's off, get off the cart. What are you, mad? <laughs> <laughs> it's certain death. We can't go in there, hand ourselves in. Do you see that out loud? Yes. <laughs> and in doing so, I'm going to jump off the cart and run in the opposite direction. Towards wherever. Away from these guys. <laughs> are you making a run for it? Yes. I'm very good running. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you start to run. I'm going to play safe with Hector, so he's going to go over here. Oryx, what do you want to do? I think I'm going to hand myself in. Okay. I don't like towns. <laughs> Especially with the thought of confinement. And you hear some instructions from the horse guard. He says, uh, apprehend them. And then he holds the reins of his horse and gallops after Rob. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, so these guards will apprehend you. Wait, does my rod count as a weapon? It looks like a relatively short stick. Uh, decorative. It's questionable. Can I put it in my hair? Like, to make it look like just a different style? You can. They'll see you doing it. So... <laughs> then you, by all means, you can give it a go. Okay. 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 What time of day is it? It's the afternoon. Oh, very good. Okay, Rob, so you're running? What's your speed? Yes, yeah, speed's 30. Okay. Obviously, the horse will catch up. I yes. Know, I... I guess after a couple of turns, a warhammer comes down and uh, he will try to take you down. I will try and uh, dodge, I suppose, if possible. So is that going to be um, a ready action then, is it? Oh, as I sort of hear an approach, I will yeah. turn around and, and yet. Yeah. Okay, so that's a disadvantage to his uh, his swipe. But he has advantage because he's on does horseback, he... so therefore it's normal roll. Right. 18? Oh, yes, that hit. Oh, well, hold on. It's the wrong one. He did... He's not using a lance on you, don't worry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not better though. Not a natural twenty, um, and yeah, five damage. You can see the horse going round again, ready for a second charge, and you hear him saying, G "Give yourself up." I haven't done anything wrong. You've got me all misunderstood. You've run from the law. You're wrong in my eyes. Well, um, is there any cover? Nearby, or? There are trees. Oh, there we go, then. 
How far away are the trees? 30 foot, you could get them with your movement. Oh, absolutely, yes. Oh, I'll head for the trees. Okay. Try okay. riding through that. <laughs> okay. You do that, um, he jumps off his horse and advances on you. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see this? Did he get very far? Or... Yeah, you can see it in the distance. You can see that, that he's off his horse and he's approaching Rob. I'm going to shake my head condescendingly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hector will be he's so proud. Great help you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was your movement, Rob. Do you want to do anything else? Well, as he approaches then and from the trees... Yes. I'll certainly attempt to hit him with my bow. Well, with, with an arrow from my bow, rather. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great vision. Um, okay, yep. So as a, a bonus action, you ready your bow, and then you fire an arrow. Go for it. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> well, what's the second score mean? That's if you have advantage or disadvantage, you use that. Otherwise, you don't use it. Oh, I didn't. I'm not sure what the P means, though. Maybe piss, piss poor? Piercing. Okay, thank you. Piercing, yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, so it, no, it, it goes past him, hits a tree some 20 feet away. Oh, carry on running. <laughs> um, you can't this turn. He attacks you. Okay. 14 Ooh. damage. I'm dead. He went to knock you out and succeeded. Great axe. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear okay. him beckon over to the guards, and um, you know nothing more. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, you're slowly starting to feel better. Oh. You can recall. Oh. <laughs> That's me feeling better. Excellent. <laughs> what did you do with the yellow package, by the way? I have no idea. Um, I, I, I would have opened it uh, long before I had to find out what was in it. Now, there were three potions in there. And with okay. ornate writing, they were labelled um, Ye Great Healing Potions. Oh. Uh, I would have stored them about my person, I suppose. Okay. John? Yes? In my right to remain silent, which I'm doing so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've just remembered that I've got the, our old employer's scimitar, haven't I? You do, yeah. Yeah. That's not going to bode well, is it? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I just thought I'd remind him, just make it more interesting. <laughs> thank, thank you, yeah. Right, right. Thank you. I have his ring. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> you have his pouch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I keep that? <laughs> it was his jars. You're just an empty pouch. Because I have eight intelligence. I'm actually more intelligent than you, Terry. Yes. Wait, in character. In character, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Terry can spell anything. He's a he's a spelling wizard. <laughs> it's true, but I won't hold any poor spelling against any of you because you all sound like you speak better English than we do. <laughs> a. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dan uses big words frequently. Hmm. It's true. I can't always spell them, though. So I guess what you do. <laughs> they take you into town, and you are escorted into one of the larger buildings okay. and down some steps. You are then placed in some cells. Can you all see that? That's scrolled up. Yep, I, I see, see it. Yeah, you might need to scroll. A guard goes past each of you and says, right, they've been informed, they need a bit of preparation, and they'll be ready to see you in one hour. And he, he passes you all a bit of food and some water. So am I under the assumption that uh, Pebble has given me some healing potion? I assume no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you see the sleeping beauty on the floor in front of you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll revive him. Uh, John, can I examine the door and the lock? Examine the door and the lock. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, give me a perception check. Can I use message? It's a cantrip. You can use it yeah. any time you like, Finn. Yes. I'm going to use it to know, and I want... Well, when they judge us, I sort of want to get all the stories the same. Because if one person says that he 
fell into the spirit well, and the other person says that we were all asleep and it wouldn't match up very well, and they know that we would lie. That's a good idea. But if I message everybody, then mm. we could get the story straight. Okay, so you can tell us what, but I don't think we can respond to you. So you can oh. you can send your messages to us, but you can tell us what you think our story should be. So you should just tell us what the story is. Yeah. Well, we smashed his door in, beat the snot out of him, and threw him down the well. Luckily, Rob can't <laughs> transmit messages. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Ben's <laughs> doing. <laughs> well, it didn't really help that Finn was punching pictures. Mm-hmm. Well, if I never punched those <laughs> pictures, we wouldn't have found it. If I hadn't punched those pictures, we'd be in a cell. I, I'm staying very quiet. If they're if they're <laughs> shouting these things back and forth at each other, I, 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 I'm I'm just saying. I don't know what what you guys are talking about. I was asleep. What did you do? <laughs> I was asleep. Then why do you have this pouch? It was it was a gift from from you, Oryx. <laughs> That's true. If you talk to anyone but someone in your cell, I assume you are shouting it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> except for except for Finn. Except for Oryx, yeah. 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 Oryx mm. can talk to anyone. Is Either there any us. water? Yeah, you were given water. A cup of water. Essentially to share between you. John, my perception was a 16. Oh, yeah. You look at the bars. They're a little bit rusty, a little bit shaky, but they seem to be holding out okay. Mm -hmm. And the lock? Yeah, the lock is quite strong. It needs a large pair of keys, and you'd need good lock-picking equipment. Is it not like the lock in the Pirates of the Caribbean, where if you hinge it in the right position, it just pops off? (laughs) (laughs) You don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna search for a way out as well. Okay. The room or the door? Uh the room. And then the door. <laughs> okay, yeah, make two checks. Okay. Uh sorry, John, has Dan sort of healed me up, per se? Um, Dan, have you healed yeah, me? Yeah, I will. I'll I'll use a portion of the potion to do that. So that was the room first, then the door. Okay. Oh very good, Terry. Oh. Very good. Of the room, you think that uh, there are one or two minor holes in the upper area by the window. But you're not sure if they're big enough to... I mean, you think yeah, you could probably chisel away at them, but it would take quite a bit of time. Okay. You can also hear some, some humming coming from somewhere to your left. Oh, so we probably shouldn't yell at each other. Does it sound like it's in the next cell, or...? Uh, you judge it to be... The next room. Sorry, John, are there windows or not? There's a thin line of a window. Oh, like an arrow? Thing. Yeah, if you put your hand up, that's the height of that window. Okay. I want to listen to the humming and where the humming is safe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll focus on the humming. Okay, you focus on the humming. It's quite audible. The words aren't always easy to understand. Give me a perception check. Who? Whoever's listening in. Okay, I Pebble, you think it's... Sounds like it's coming from an older man. Quite a grizzled voice making this... It sounds a bit like... When I fight him in the beaches And I fight him in the forest I always win... <laughs> I always win. That sounds a bit like Long Vernal. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be singing a different tune soon. I'll shout out. Oh, sorry. It was just uh, Pebble that heard that. So I'll do nothing. Okay, John, I think I want to listen to a bit longer. See, like I don't really know what to make of that, really. Okay. And no, as you do tune yourself in a bit more, you can stop picking it up. Okay, I hear. Uh, why they wish to let me out? I just gotta get my strength up. Get ready for fighting. All good. Pebble. Pebble. What? I'm busy talking to this person in the other cell. Yeah, I, I don't like this cell. 
I don't like it. I don't like being trapped. Well, um, we won't be here very much longer. We're going to be. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting angry. I'm turning into a rage. Uh, um, long, long. long. <laughs> I start throwing the bed and things around. Zebra. <laughs> <laughs> I will attempt to break out of this confinement through the bars. Whoa! Oh, long, calm down, long! Calm down! <laughs> Dead black pebble! Oh, but, but, listen to me! Calm down! Um, okay. John, I'd like to try and persuade him to calm down. You want to try and oh, do well, that? Well. Okay, then, in which case, persuasion. Very fair. It's going to be difficult because he's raged. <laughs> What's it against? It's against a DC. 18. Okay. Um, Long, you grab the bars, and then you start shaking the bars, and then you notice that, oh yeah, there's that man, he's your friend. What What does he want? And you get distracted. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had two chances of breaking out of these bars with a strength check. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise you could actually break out. Oh, thanks, Pebble. I'm really panicking, buddy. Calm down. I don't like uh, it. Listen, if we ever get out of here and if they don't let us off, take this. And I give him my deck. I want to use send message to the person who is humming and ask him, can he help us get out of here? It's a cantrip. I just want to see if you need light of sight or not. You can cast a spell through solid jump decks if you're familiar with the target and know it is beyond the barrier. Hmm. One foot of stone. Where are you? Oh, okay, you can travel <laughs> around corners and through openings. Well, there's bars for the door. Yeah. I want you to roll an arcana check. Yay. Okay. With a bit of prodding, you can find what appears to be human intelligence, and the humming suddenly stops. What do you say? Hello, can you help us get out of here? We are in the cell beside you. You're you know, not going crazy. You hear... He is going crazy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, da, da. <laughs> I'm going mad. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to just start screaming. Help! Help us out of here! Help! Somebody help! We've been wrongfully accused. Okay, you can hear footsteps. Uh-oh. And you, you see a guard, he says, uh, Everything all right? I'll say we've been wrongfully accused. Let us out. <laughs> he smirks and says, well, that's for the uh, the judge, isn't it? Well, why bother with his valuable time? That's very convincing, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need to send that message to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'll show back at Oryx. I'm doing the best with what I've got. The guard looks confused and says, um, I'm sure you are. But <laughs> it's. I can do an, un, an unraged uh, strength check on the bars. Yeah, yeah, go for it. 18. Woohoo. Okay. You start shaking the bars and. Some dust and some debris from above the bars falls down. Oh. You know, the bars definitely wobbled. But, yeah, they remain intact. Oh, oh. And the guard turns and goes, Hey! Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise you'll Pebble, be first. help me! Pebble, help! Come on! Help! Grab the other side of this. <laughs> I'm going to try and shake the bars as well in an effort not only to break the bars but also to distract Distract. the guard. I'm going to start just singing randomly, loudly. Just very loud, but random. That might distract the guard as well. 
What like? Screaming. Like, yeah, yeah. What sort of things? Like, ow, oh, my foot. La la la. <laughs> Your mum is so fat. <laughs> So you both shake the buzz. Um, if you want to number, you can do a strength check, or otherwise, if you if you are just doing it for effect, then you don't need to. It's for effect. At least it'll distract him a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deception for Oryx. Deception. <laughs> okay, it's background noise to what's going on. The buzz is what's really affecting this guard. It seems at the time, but the whole chorus of noise going on right now is affecting him, and he um he goes right, and he storms off. Oh, well that's good. Say- then Pebble and I shake the bars again. I'm not. I'm, I'm been shaking the bars. <laughs> well, no, can we do it together? Pebble, come on! No, 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 no. This won't work. This won't work. We'll just calm down and I'll make an excuse. Can he roll another um, persuasion check then? Because I've got to go nuts in a minute. Well, you're I'm going to pretend to fall asleep. <laughs> 17. Um, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Your healing tongue. Save them. No. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the humming guy. Pssst. Pssst. I'm pissing to uh, the humming guy. <laughs> you don't hear anything back. Can I? Um, I'm going to sing his song. Oh God! Can I Ooh. do another strength check, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do a strength check. You're going to try and remember his song. Uh, roll an intelligence check. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Nine. Uh, Damn you. you make no more progress than you did before. <laughs> it's staying solid. Dan, uh, either recite the song right now or roll an intelligence check. I remember it going something like. Oh, oh, fight them in the forests. Oh, fight them in the beaches. Oh, fight them in... <laughs> How loudly do you do that? Um, a bit gently to start with, but just loud enough so he will hear. Okay. My intelligence roll is, oh, it's a 19. Okay. You can hear some hiccuping, and then after a bit, oh, fight them anywhere. Hey, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Hey, boys! I sing with into the chorus. Right. And then I say, Hello, old friend. Lou? Hello, matey. Is that Lou? Yes, it's Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What are you doing down here, Lou? What are you doing down here? I got... Wait. Uh, Roll the deception check, then. Right. (laughs) We're not a good deceptive group. An eight. No. Right. You you should know, Lou. You were there. Still? What's going on? Still for that? Huh? (laughs) <laughs> yeah still <laughs> still that bottom line we need to get out I and my friends and you too well it wasn't that bad they'll let you out really? yeah we only stole some beer <laughs> it wasn't worth it <laughs> yeah. well maybe it was well <laughs> but but no, Lou, you don't know. I heard they're going to do us all for murder. What? That's right. I only and touched got someone... a drop. But <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's it's a, it's a setup. So there's some bigwig that was that was taken down, and they need to fix it on someone. Someone like us. We've got to get out. They wouldn't now, do that to me. I'm a hero. No, I'm telling I am. you. I'm telling you. I'll support you, Lou. I'll support can you. you. And, can you um, break out of that cell? At this point, you can hear the Wait, so, you can hear some guards so, coming towards you or footsteps. Can I say now? A, now, can please. Right, I'll stand up for you. And uh, guards come around the corner. This, this moment in time. Can I send a message to one of the guards? Go on. Wait, would they know it's me? 
No, it's just a message in their head, right? Oh, so... um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's voice activated or not, so I'm assuming not. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell them, let them go or else you'll be haunted by ghosts and your heads will explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay. And then they're going to let us go, right? <laughs> I'm going to send that to both of them. For both of them, I think. They both stand stock still for a moment and look at each other and uh, and then look in the cells. How are you looking? Quick. What's your position, Oryx? Um, I'm pretending to sleep. Okay. Icky, what are you doing? Um, I actually am sleeping. <laughs> You're not doing anything. <laughs> Long, what are you doing? As I look, I'm going to punch him in the face. Punch who in the face? The guard. Either iron bars in the way. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, punch through the bars, can I? We'll, 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 we'll keep that. Um, Pevel, what are you doing? I'm stirred by the window again. Okay, so they suddenly stop after something that distracted them, and then Long tries to punch through the bars and gets his fist jammed in. The, uh, you hit these bars. They look at each other and go, "Right, you're first and um, open the bars up and drag you. Wait, so, John, as they're taking Can I resist? Him, you can try. John, as yeah. they're taking him, I want to protest and pretend that I'm very upset that he's going. Be like, no, 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 you can't take him. You can't take him. And like, hold on to him. And in the process, see if I can nick a set of keys in them. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to send another message to both of them saying, no, you fools, your heads are going to explode. <laughs> God. Okay, so um, so these guards grab Long. Long, uh, what are you doing? I'll uh, attempt to break free and just bash their skulls together. I'd say at this point that they are holding on to you, so they're grappling you, so you have to make a strength check. They get advantage because there's two of them. Okay. All right. Yeah, actually, sorry, you can make a strength athletics check or a dexterity acrobatics check. Up to you. 16, does that help? 16, okay. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to roll this one. <laughs> 13. So, uh, so yeah, you do actually break free of them temporarily. And you wanted to try and grab their keys, so do a sleight of hand check, Dan. There you are. Come on, Dan. Uh, if they're distracted... Maybe. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> um, I was thinking about that. You'd have to step forward in order to do that. Okay. Okay, so you managed to grab the keys. Is because... there only one set? Is this the same set that they used to open our door? Was it a spare? I was assuming you were going for some keys in their belts rather than ones they were holding in their hand. Yeah, that is what I was going for. Yeah, okay. So um, you're not sure if this is exactly the same or not? Okay, All right. Well, I'll stash those away very, very Stop carefully. nicking keys and punch them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at that point, yeah, a big, distracted by the voices in their head and this large barbarian who's resisting them, you take the keys from them. Yep, as a free action, you hear this guard shouting. I'll stifle him. Here, roll initiative. Oh, I got six, and that's not very good. Icky, you're sleeping? Or are you up? I'm probably mm. awake from all the uh, shouting, but I'm just looking on in interest. Okay. I'm just watching. Sure. So, the guards go first. You can hear some footsteps coming down the corridor. So, they're going to do a grapple check against you again, Rob. Okay. Come on, be, be good, be good. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. No, you got 16. Six. They grab hold of you again and say, Right, no. you are coming <laughs> first. In a distance as well, you can hear um, the unknown character saying, Look, no, 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 there's nothing to do with them. It's just Lou. Leave him be. <laughs> Which way are they dragging him? On their turn, they can do, I think it's half movement when you grapple someone. So they've, they're moving about 15 feet this way. So they're, All right. they're that far down the corridor. Uh, Pevel, mm -hmm. your turn. Oh no, oh no, I'm just going to whimper and back away. 
Thank you, Long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Long, what are you doing? I'm going to try and resist them again. Okay, bring it. Be good. 25! <laughs> I pick them up and throw them against the wall. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know, you, you break free completely. Um, so, I believe that is... That's your main action. You still have all your movement. And you have a bonus action. I'm going to bash the crap out of them. Run, Long. Run. Can I go oh, into rage? <laughs> yeah, as a bonus action, you could go into rage. Yes. <laughs> okay. Run! So long break. I've never a race before, so but I get I get advantage on strength checks and attacking things. Yeah, and you got, you have your movement left. You want to do anything? Um, no, I'm just gonna stand there and just go nuts on them. Okay, cool. So we're in a corner. The third guard comes into view, looking around frantically, seeing what the danger is, what's going on. Uh, the other two guards then, having seen that you've raged. One looks to the other and says, we've got to bring him down. And they, uh, they attack. All right. Pevel healed you, didn't he? Yes. Yes. All right. I really don't like being enclosed. <laughs> okay, one attacks for 22. Oh, will they? Yes, that hits. Okay, he takes nine damage on you. Okay. Slashing but across your chest. Yeah, I, I don't feel it, though, because I'm in rage. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I mark it down. Oh, it's half damage, isn't it? I think for for barbarian. So you take. Okay. I think it's five. I think I think it's rounded up. Yeah. So you take five damage there. Ah, scratch. <laughs> the other one will also go for you. Nine. I'm guessing that. Okay. Not a sausage. <laughs> Not a sausage. All right. Pebble. Uh, I'm going to move here, but that's it really, otherwise I'm going to be scared. Okay, okay. That's really? It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, Long, over to you. Um, so I'm just going to hit him, I suppose, uh, unarmed, I guess, but still proficiency in strength, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. 24! <laughs> Good hit. But yeah, you wouldn't get one d eight plus three. I think I get, it's. But I get a plus. I get a plus two because I'm raged. So it's, I guess six damage. You have got a dagger. Do I? I gave you a dagger. Oh, all right. Roll intelligence. Seven. <laughs> okay. You raged, and, you, and uh, the last thing you really thought about was the, the dagger. So you're going to hell for leather with, yes. with your fists. All right, totally good. Nice. All right, back to them. They're going to... Uh, yeah, he's, this, this one's going to move in as well. This isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> um, 12? No, there's 15 or less. So 15 or more. Either. Okay, take one damage there. Okay. Feeble attempt, guard. Feeble. And another four damage. Ooh, damn, cracking. How you doing? I've got four hit points left. Okay. Uh, Pebble? I'm passively whimpering. Long. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm still angry. I must get them. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll attempt to run away. Okay, they will get a tax opportunity against you if you do that. No? They'll get attacks anyway. Hmm. But technically, if I'm raging, I'll just stand my ground and just keep fighting until I die. But I'm erring on the side of caution. Are you going to step out of your rage or, or run? What are you doing? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run, I think, yeah. I've only got four hit points left. So. Okay, so you start to run. Okay, one hits you for three. One hits you for one. You can all see the guards pile on him and put some cuffs on him. And then it takes some effort, but... Uh, Two of them start to drag the body. And then one of them looks up and goes, God, oh, jeez, my, my job's on the line here. And uh, he goes over to the uh, the bars here and, and closes the door on you, Pebble. You don't let me out! You'll get your turn. And they drag Long down the corridor and out of sight. All right. Once they're out of sight, 
I want to see if I can open the door. Okay. We're obviously going to be guilty now. <laughs> okay, so at this point, let's see how you do. So give me a sleight of hand. I was acting in character, guys. I didn't want to steal the limelight. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> All right. So it's the first key you try, essentially. You can put your hand around it and turn it, and it does open your door. Right. I'm going to come out. First, we'll look around to see which way there seem to be exits. Whether there's one other way. Are you going to let us out? I, I will. I'm, I'm just taking <laughs> a look at my surroundings first. Okay. And this direction, you think the corridor continues down in that direction? In that direction, um, the corridor goes on a bit further. You think there's an, at least another room in that direction, and then you think possibly there's a, a steps going down. Steps going down. Okay. Um, I move to each cell in turn and open them. First, the one on my right, so over here, I'm trying to open that cell. Hurrah! Yep, you open it, no problem. Um, I'm going to go. There's one further down here, isn't there? There is. Go to that one. And Thanks, Bevel. Okay, you see this older man looking bedraggled and staring up at you and goes, Did they take Lou? Yeah, that's right, they took him. They took Lou. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, jeepers. He's pretty bloody. You can barely recognise him. <laughs> oh my god. Poor Lou. And I unlock his door. Okay. Can you help us get out? Gonna do us for murder. Right. Murder, says, I mean, me. Can I murder someone? We're all deception check down. Okay. He goes, I'll do it for Lou, he says. And you see this pajama looking man coming through. Pajamas? <laughs> Where is he? There I'm he glad again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, lads. <laughs> All right. What's down the other way? What? Hector's still in the cell. <laughs> Hector! Come on, Hector. Wake up. They're letting us out. Where do I have to? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Condescendingly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> I'll unlock that other cell too. Okay. The cell door's open. Well, I'm actually quite useful, aren't I? <laughs> well, what's going on? <laughs> oh, wake up. <laughs> is Ralph's character perpetually asleep? Is Ralph, is Ralph playing sloth? No, my, it's an narcoleptic my, budgie. My character is perpetually confused as to what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bird in you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do next? What's down those stairs? Me! No, the other way. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, I've been down there once. There's a some torture instruments. Uh, I think they might have some sort of armoury down there. Don't know. Weapons? Uh, possibly. Yeah, weapons? Well, we're going let's down go there. Go get okay. weapons! <laughs> yes, let's. Okay, you go down there. Quickly! Yeah, I'm, I'm going to listen for voices. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, wait up. This is where the weapons are. <laughs> he goes, well, if this is what Lou would want, then I'll help yes. Are you friends of his of some sort? Yes, that's right. We well, met him on the road and we saved him from orcs. Oh, he did tell me some sort of story about orcs in a place somewhere at some point. My name's Bill Sagley. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Who's Lou? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you go down the stairs. 